today we're going to talk about um, statements. Okay, statements to uh, your command if they're doing an investigation, statements to NCIS or CID or any other law enforcement entity within the military. So as I stated before in previous videos, um, those subject to the UCMJ and um, military law enforcement, they have to advise that service member of their right to remain silent, also the nature of the accusations against that service member, and anything they say can and will be used against them at trial by court martial. So what happens sometimes is a service member will be questioned and they'll give an oral statement, okay? And I hear, hey, I gave my oral statement, but I didn't give any of the written statement. Regardless, whether you gave an oral statement or a written statement, those statements can be used against you. And what I see a lot of times is when you're brought into NCIS, there will be cameras, okay? There will be cameras uh, either uh, in the ceiling um, or uh, hidden cameras on the side, okay? So those cameras are recording uh, that service member's statement, okay? So even though that service member doesn't write down a statement, doesn't provide a written statement, um, they're still giving a statement if they talk to NCIS and they talk about their alleged misconduct. So as I stated in previous videos, you have the right to remain silent and it's in your best interest to remain silent and invoke your right to speak to counsel prior to questioning. There you have it. So, thank you. Follow this channel, and I'll be giving you more tips on military law.